this morning, President Barack Obama made another impassioned plea for welcoming refugees fleeing violence to the U.S. The president spoke while at a refugee event in, Mal in Malaysia, where he's currently attending the Association of Southeast Asian Nations Summit. Now, President Obama says he's letting refugees in the states that would demonstrate American values around the globe. And the president met with several young refugees while they worked on art projects at a center for migrant children. Obama has already said that he will veto any legislation that would place new restrictions on refugees from Iraq and Syria looking to enter the U.S. This morning, French authorities say three people were killed in a raid in the Paris suburbs Wednesday, not two as previously thought. One of those killed was in the raid was the suspected mastermind, his cousin, and a third suspect. The 129 people were confirmed killed in the attacks last week before another wounded victim succumbed to their injuries on Friday raising the death toll to 130 overall. It may be difficult for parents to explain to their children what's really happening overseas. And a local psychologist says a viral video can help parents. We encourage you to read the subtitles in the story as many of the touching clips are spoken in French. It's a difficult time for adults and children alike to make sense of the terror attacks in France. In a video that has now gone viral, this little boy was captured sorting out the pieces. His father stays composed as he listens and talks with his son about the attacks. Clinical psychologist Josh Claypo says this is a great example of how parents should talk to their children when frightening and heartbreaking news is unfolding. Parents very often get caught in the trap of trying to explain why it happened, how it happened. A lot of times, the best thing you can do as a parent is ask your child what they think. Reassure them that you will protect them. You will reassure them that things like this don't happen every day. Uh, you can also tell them that for all of the horrific things that have happened, there are lots of heroes here. C'est pour nous protéger les fleurs et les bougies. Oui. In Birmingham, Lillian Lalo, WIET 42 News. Ça va mieux du coup? Oui, ça va mieux. Coverage you can count on. Dr. Claypo says if parents stay calm and composed, it lets the child know that they are going to be okay. And to see and share the full video, just go to our website, WIAT.com.